Actually, there's a big amount of information in this uh, in this video. We have to say also that uh, actually, yes, he's a Palestinian, but he's an Israeli Arab from the Arabs of 1948, which got who got the Israeli citizenship. So uh, this is, this is, I guess, important for them because they showed his passport and they they said he was working for the Mossad. But the information we have is that we see one more time. It's the second time that we see a kid, a very young uh, young boy between 10 and 12 years old. Uh, killing uh, one guy that they got. The first video was a Kazakh boy killing two uh, FSB uh, agents like Russian uh, intelligence. And we see that it was well, very well produced as the video produced for the Jordanian pilot which was uh, who was burned by the, by the Islamic State. And we see that at the end of this video they uh, put out uh, what they call security data and they put out the IDs and the names, last names, date of birth, uh, geolocalization of about 10 persons which they accuse of being Mossad agents in Jerusalem which is like uh, it's, uh, it's the first time that it happens like an organization is like putting out uh, such kind of information in the heart of Jerusalem uh, considered or declared by Israel as its capital so this is like a security breach and a mediatic breach at the same time Wasim, in the video, one of the militants addresses the camera speaking in French. Do we know more about who he is, why the choice to speak in French? Uh, they, they don't say it, but uh, we know that he's Sabri Esid, which is the uh, half-brother of uh, Mehdi Mera, who was responsible for many attacks in France uh, exactly three years ago on the 11th of March 2012. So they don't say it, but when I got in contact with them and they were like, uh, why do you think we chose a French guy? And I knew that he was a cousin, he was the half brother of uh, Mehdi Mera. And then I remembered uh, what Mehdi Mera did. And so I remembered the date. So they chose this date very carefully as they always do, as they always do in their videos. There's an oral message and there's a message in the images. So this is a direct threat to uh, the Jewish community in France to France and also, also, sorry, to Israel, as I as I just said, we have to remember one more thing also that it's not unusual to see uh, Arab Israeli Arab citizens in the ranks of the Islamic State. Uh, me myself, I got to interview a jihadi, an Israeli Arab from northern Israel, who joined the, the Nusra Front a few years ago. So uh, Israel is uh, concerned by this phenomena, and the Arab population in Israel is concerned by this phenomena, and the Palestinians of uh, of Gaza also as all the countries of the region and of the world. So this phenomena is, uh, is, uh, is touching everybody, if I may say so. It's not really unusual to see an Israeli citizen in the ranks of, of the Islamic State. Mm. All right, thank you for that, uh, Wasim, Wasim Nasra, terrorism expert here at France 24.